let it all be true. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe everything you think. Now we may think that there is a time for peace and a time not for peace. We might believe that I can be peaceful now. I certainly can be peaceful here. This is the church. Spiritual community. But over there, and then I can't be I can't be peaceful there and then. Here and now, not there and then. Spirit is always giving us very personal messages. Always, if we are open to them. And this week, Spirit kept bringing Ecclesiastes three back to my mind. And Ecclesiastes 3, if that scripture verse, that chapter heading means anything to you, you know that it is a chapter filled with beautifully poetic prose describing contrasting conditions of life and affirming that there is a time for each of them. So if you choose, I invite you to close your eyes. And as I read this scripture, from your own personal experience, your own past experience, find yourself, if you can, find yourself in each of these conditions. And as you do, ask of yourself, is there a place for peace here? Is there a place for peace here? For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, is there a place for peace? And a time to die, is there a place for peace? A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh. time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones. Right now I'm thinking of skipping stones across a lake, and a time to gather stones together. I see myself building a fire circle. A time to embrace every Sunday here and so many others in between Sundays. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek. And a time to lose. A time to keep. And a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, 
and a time to speak. A time to love. And a time to hate. A time for war. And a time for peace. Is there any condition of life for which peace has not a place. <coughs> In every circumstance of life, there is a place for peace. Some of us, we may struggle with some of those words Time for war? Really a place for peace? Doesn't war <clears throat> cry out for peace? Yes. There is no place that peace does not fit. You say, okay, those are those all involve other people. But what if I, what if I am personally attacked? Is there a place for peace there? Uh, would you roll that? 